If I could ask the developers 20 questions, they would be as follows. Number one, is there any sort of crafting or recalibration system being currently developed? I'm sure loot is the top thing being re-examined right now since at the moment the the game's highest tier rewards often drop with stats so bizarre that it shines a spotlight on how severe the dice rolls are. The RNG frequently results in epics being better than legendaries, and the answer that I'm hoping for will uh, kind of get us back on the right track as far as there being a carrot that's worth chasing in this loot game. Number two, is a mode where we can land solo, potentially encounter other players, and complete repeatable tasks for loot, resources, and faction XP a possibility? So think patrol and destiny. I just think a mode like this focused on replayability and team play could offer a bit of fun to the experience that I feel we could sorely use right now. Uh, splash in a slim chance of high tier loot. Uh, definitely do some kind of public events, respawning uh, high priority targets and eh, it's perfect. Number three, in harm rooms, can we select modifiers or even environments for custom sessions? I assume by the next update, gear locking and loadouts will be a feature that will allow us to quickly switch between gear builds that we've created. Hopefully um, on the Quinjet, we'll be able to just switch. But a custom harm room would be the perfect stage for us to test some of these builds against these modifiers, a figurative uh, firing range, if you will. Uh, I'd also like an endless mode implemented with recurring rewards, maybe every five or ten waves, depending on the difficulty. Um, in campaign, Kamala Khan was uh, transformed into Tony Stark in the harm room, so I think it'd also be cool if we could all play the same character if we felt like it. Number four, is a join in progress feature being developed? You know, obviously not every scenario, but it'd just be nice. Number five, can heroic abilities interrupt stagger? I can understand being levitated or like frozen, but at the moment, being staggered renders our heroes completely unable to use any of their heroics and just getting mercilessly wombo comboed is getting pretty friggin' old, especially when some of us get hit with these beams where it's like, oh my god. Number six, companion commands would go a long way, but can the AI also be set to, I don't know, utilize the strengths of their gear in the future? For example, my Iron Man is specced for rocket damage and my Hulk is specced for power damage. It'd be wonderful if I could kind of set them to prioritize those abilities. Number seven, there are currently two villains available post-game that we can fight. Is there a way we can at least triple that number by the end of the year? Number eight, with enemy types like the Hand, Hydra, the Magia, the Kree, Doombots, Skrulls, and other Marvel favorites, when can players expect to fight more than robots? Number nine, if you wanted to put a comic book skin in the game with no modifications or alterations, could you? Are there restrictions keeping you from doing so? Number 10. For your average gamer who is understandably unimpressed by two months of two archers, would you say that there's unannounced surprises to reel in new players? Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, Wasp, Vision, Doctor Strange, War Machine, Bucky Barnes, Falcon, Black Panther, Captain Marvel. The blunt truth is, these are the heroes that people want and may not return before the arrival of. This game launched in a really rough spot and it's still kind of in rough shape and we a month out. Two villains, one enemy type, no locations. Marvel's Avengers isn't just a Marvel game without a lot of Marvel in it. It's a looter game with no loot worth chasing at the moment. If you have the license to use these heroes, please drop them in as soon as you can. And if you can rip these skins straight out of the comics, deliver them and trust me, players will buy the hell out of them. Number 11, in solo play, Three downs and you're out. But in multiplayer, you can be downed infinite times. Is this intentional? And what's the design philosophy behind it? Number 12, Thor currently throws his hammer, but 
could he be modified to allow the choice between whether he throws it or whether he concentrates a beam of uh, electricity that counts as like range damage you get what i'm talking about there's a scene at the end of age of ultron where like iron man thor and vision concentrate a beam on on ultron for that money shot if oof, if we could recreate that in this game oh uh, what, what are we looking at like what in a, a half a year before something like that's possible number 13 when can hulk pick up cars Number 14. Will the marketplace reflect a $60 game economy? $12 for a takedown, $14 for skins. It's kind of too much for a game that's not free, especially when the skins are not as faithful to the comics as some people might have thought they might have been. No different hammers for Thor, no different shields for Captain America, etc. Just something I hope you guys consider. I'd also like the ability to see all of my heroes on screen, like the main menu, but uh, at any time from, you know, the, the menu. I should be able to just pop them all up, see them all in the skins that I've gotten. You really need to think in terms of, of selling some stuff to these people. Number 15. Can the emote wheel have eight emotes, or are you shooting for four? I can't lie to you, I saw Insomniac Games post a gif of Spidey from their upcoming game. Just wonderful. Reminded me of Into the Spider-Verse, just a non-stop fun celebration of a property. I, uh, I want to feel like Marvel's history is being celebrated in this game. Through faithful and iconic skins, people know and love, and the sass and irresistible charm of decades-old characters kind of coming to life in this, uh, oh boy, you know, you, you get where I'm going with it. Number 16, can we share artifacts? I think it's a little bit... I think it's a little bit excessive that we gotta do. Ooh, what a grind! I mean, I know, I know you were trying to give us something to do for the. Not, not this. Number seventeen. Loading screens should show the skins that we have equipped for each hero. But I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better here. I feel that we should be allowed to save the screenshots that we take in the photo mode to an album, and have it so that a slideshow plays while the loading screen is uh, doing its thing feel like it's a missed opportunity not doing this fallout 76 did it um honestly you could turn something as crazy as a bunch of bugs and glitches into something that people are hoping for because then the pictures would make for explosively unique loading screens that other people wouldn't have unless that exact same glitch happened to them the exact same way number 18 i admit this is nitpicky i feel the comic book boosts are so minute that they could be tweaked just a little bit, or at least be offered as a reward for every five waves in some sort of endless harm room mode. Some people would genuinely never get off the treadmill if the carrot is appealing enough, boy. You wanna see some scary ass endless streams? Do this and watch what happens. Number 19, can we access the war table from anywhere in the hub? I know you're making quality of life changes soon and I'm sure this has gotta be one of them, but this and the ability to potentially have um, uh, one of the twins, the wheelchair girl, be, that's so, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't even, I didn't finish the story mode, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I just remember when I go to the anthill, homie's like, I got a sister, and she does the same thing, and it's like, well, why isn't she over on um, Helicarrier so she can just teleport us over there uh, by talking to her, and you can teleport us over there by talking to him. Come on now, you know? And number 20, lastly, would you consider allowing us the ability to purchase takedowns with the game's units? Um, you know, two takedowns a hero is a little bit. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, man. I appreciate your time. Thank you for um, listening. And uh, if you aren't the ones listening, hopefully somebody is just jotting these questions down and will ask them for me. Please, please. Please ask these. Oh my god. I'm sorry. You have a great day. Um, damn, I just got a YouTube comment that says I'm toxic. Your mother, whoever you are. <laughs>